new study reveals ADH medications can be passed along to your children's offspring. If you're concerned about ADHD medications being prescribed to your kids and the side effects that may come from its use, stop right here. This is the video for you. In fact, I myself have experienced side effects of medications as a kid. I don't wish my parents knew about those side effects before it was given to me. But we're going to get into that. For those who don't know, I'm new to my page. My name is The Faceless Caseworker. The Faceless Caseworker uses many faces. I'm a substance abuse counselor. I'm a care coordinator. I'm a care manager. I'm a counselor. I'm a psychologist. I'm everything that you put in it. All right. I've worked in the field for more than eight years. And I'm pretty uh, knowledgeable about substance abuse and different things. And I'm also a graduate of a psychology degree and a human services degree. Um, now we, what we do here, we look at evidence-based research to educate you guys on the new studies that are worked on and aren't spoken about, about in traditional media. Once again, this is not a gossip channel or a rumor channel. This is a truth channel. If you feel that this stuff is something that you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button. All my previous viewers probably saw me with a mask. I'm not wearing that mask right now. It's too hot. It's too hot. I have nothing to hide, you know. Nothing to hide here. It's just uh, too hot to wear that mask, man. I've been wearing a mask all year long, and I decided I'm not wearing a mask. The COVID uh, vaccine is, is out here, so I don't need to be wearing a mask online, all right? If you want the mask to come back, comment below. If not, peace. All right? Now, the new study reveals ADH medications can be passed along to children. Let's get into it here. All right. A, a month ago, a study on guppies. That's right. Guppies at the University of Toronto and Florida State University found behaviors affected by MPH. This is the active ingredient in Ritalin and uh, Concita and all these other ADH medications that may be given to your children um, can be passed on to several generations of offspring. All right. They did a study and it showed that only the male um, species were affected. Um, it affected their uh, ability to interact. Now, guppies, uh, when they're in an area that they're not used to, they usually are very alert. Like humans, they're very alert and they pay attention to what's going on. But after uh, the ADH medication and the offsprings were tracked, uh, from the original guppy that gave birth and passed on to the offspring, the guppies lost the inhibition and the ability to sense their surroundings, which put them in danger. So, obviously, this is different because it changes the normal makeup of a guppy. All right, guppies have a certain way they go about things through their lives, and the ADHD medication that passed down to them changed their inhibitions. All right, it changed their inhibitions, their ability to normally react in some of these situations. Now, obviously, this study was done on guppies. This is little fish. It's not human beings. So we always got to take it with a grain of salt. But the question is, why wasn't any studies done on this previously? How come no studies were done on uh, whether the medication can be passed on um, through generations? Now, you have a child and the teachers are saying your kid is acting out um, with no understanding of why the kid may be acting out. The kid could be acting out because, you know, they don't like the teacher. They could be acting out because uh, they have problems at home. They could be acting out because their PS5 didn't arrive on time. No one really knows. But once again, this medication is affecting the offsprings. So when you're passing on medication, you're trying to help out a child who you feel has uh, activity behavior issues. But we don't want to give medication to some kids that weren't even born yet. They may be as calm as the Dalai Lama. But giving them the medication, they may lose the inhibition to react. Now, if the guppies are, are acting in a certain way in, in their environment and they're not able to be so alert to protect themselves from dangerous other species that may eat them or kill them, then what would that do to a human? What would that do to a human when they're trying to grow and uh, they're trying to interact and they're trying to get employed and they're trying to have a family or they're trying to get a wife or a husband? What is that going to do? 
Um, what are they going to do when they interact or they get in a situation with people? Uh, what if they get into a life-threatening situation? Um, will they have to make decisions um, on on point, sporadic, on the moment decisions? Will this affect their behavior? Will this affect the way that they go about with finances? Will it affect the way that they go, excuse me, using other medications? Will it affect their inhibitions to uh, be able to be alert of dangerous people? Um, suspicious plotters, uh, schemers, scammers, uh, evil significant others. Will they be able to track all these things after taking this medication? Obviously, this study needs more research. Um, but it's great that uh, you shout out to the University of Florida and uh, Florida State University and the University of Toronto for doing the study. Um, I think the study should be uh, done much further um, to see what really is going on. All right. Um, for those who want to know the study, um, I can pull it up here. And uh, the name of the study is ADH Drugs Can Affect Later Generations. All right. Now, this these guppies are from Trinidad, which is interesting. Um, why they chose Trinidadian guppies doesn't really say in the study, but uh, descendants are not directly affected. Um, but one month of age, and they followed the first generations who were exposed to this medication, and they did not react in the same way that they usually react. All right. It was a different reaction. Um, so this Ritalin can change the behavior of several generations. Um, and this needs more research. All right. So my opinion, I think that uh, parents should uh, request and demand more um, research. You know, this is something to take. Obviously, if you're having a troubled child, um, and you're not learning and they're causing disturbance. Something has to be done, but I mean, you know, we don't want to damage our generations or whole bloodline because a kid was acting out in class. It just doesn't make any sense. All right. Um, I am a proponent for alternative medications. I mean, patients, clients are all have the right to request whatever medications that they would like. Um, a doctor can't force anything on anybody, but when it comes to a parent, obviously the parent has oversight and can determine and uh, basically uh, determine that the kid needs to take the medication. All right. But as parents, we need to be aware of these things. And this is why the Faces Caseworker created this um, page to inform individuals about these studies because they don't come out in the regular news. All right. And this is why if you're interested and you need to learn about these things, you need to subscribe, hit that like button. I'm going to be coming with more information um, for the researchers as they drop. Um, this is really something I'm into. Um, ADHD is a very, uh, a very uh, sensitive subject for many people. Um, I hear um, Omar Johnson talk about it a lot over the years. Um, it's just something to be prepared of. And as we go through this show, we're going to learn about medications, conditions, behaviors, different things that are going about in times. All right. Um, there's something to be alert of. Uh, there's many more subjects and many more uh, diagnoses that we can speak on that are definitely controversial. Because schizophrenia, mental health, uh, bipolar, um, diagnosing children with bipolar, um, many different things that we can touch uh, that many parents aren't aware of. And uh, many... Uh, as we go through life, we're not aware of a lot of these things, but we're going to learn. You subscribe to this page, you're going to learn. Uh, my name is a Faceless Caseworker. Um, I'm here for you guys. Please subscribe, hit the like button for that algorithm to flow so we can get this out to the families, to the parents. And um, yeah, this is the stuff that we need. Um, and another note, I mean, um, please, parents out there, uh, always think of a second thought, a second alternative. Um, you know, it's, it's important to listen to professionals, but professionals are also taking this information and its research. And always remember that doctors are practices. Doctors are practicing their uh, craft, um, which means that they're still learning. And all research, um, you know, you have to take it with a grain of salt because of uh, the angles that they're taking. And always remember they're not testing it on humans, so we got to be careful. But 
um, you like this page uh, Faceless Caseworker um, you want to know about more stuff about um, these subjects please hit the subscribe button once again I'm the Faceless Caseworker and I'm out of here